Hey guys, it's Nicole's Intimate Wisdom. So let's go ahead and work on Taurus's monthly read. I'm sorry guys, I'm not feeling too tough <laughs> today. So let's just go ahead and get this reading under wraps. I think I'm coming down with a cold, which I know I'm coming down with a cold. I can't say think. I'm just trying not to clean it. <laughs> so let's go ahead. <clears throat> Is reading another way. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. some clarification and y'all know we gotta do right with the clarification we can't be pulling mad clarification like we always do for Taurus <laughs> I think I said in the last one so we're gonna have a pull like I pulled for everyone else the clarification for Taurus <clears throat> November 2017 All right, so the underlying energy I have is the Queen of Cups, which represents um, trusting your intuition, caring for yourself, caring for others, being a nurturer. This could also represent a relationship that's going to a new level. With the Ace of Wands, this could represent um, new passions coming in, but not after heartbreak. We got the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So there could be some type of situation where it may be some type of um, dispute or sadness or either a need for you to forgive someone about something this month. The theme is the King of Cups. So this represents um, opening your heart to those around you, even in opening your heart, raising your vibrations. We've got the High Priestess right here. So this represents following your intuition about something. This could also represent doing some type of charity work or... Um, hmm. This could also represent like increased spirituality, increased intuition this month. So maybe you're going to, I do see you following your intuition, but I kind of think this is more of you needing to open up something or see things that were once unseen. I think it's that you're going to be seeing the truth of something. Yeah, okay, you are going to be seeing the truth of something. We are going to be seeing the truth of the situation. Um, the first week, I got the Three of Swords. So this represents great sadness, taking time to heal, the need to forgive yourself and others. But I also got the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups, which both represent transitions and the Ace of Swords in between. So this represents uh, beginning something new, something challenging. It may be a lot of work, but this is beginning something new after healing after taking the time to heal and this is literally like taking the time to heal so there is going to be you actually needing to take some time alone to heal over a heal about a situation because in the second week i pulled the hermit card which represents spending quiet time alone spending time meditating sort of self-discovery um even spiritual teachings and with the king of pentacles this is finding your grounding and being comfortable in your ground and being confident in your abilities And I think within this self-discovery, you're going to find your confidence. You're going to find your stride because in the third week, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, which represents skill, work, being rewarded, um, learning they're all there is to know about a topic. And with the Sun card, this is gaining clarity on something. So this is you're going to be gaining clarity. Um, I think what it is, is, this is a, I believe this is a spiritual journey and someone's gaining clarity through the spiritual journey after some sort of healing process. Maybe um, you go through some type of meditation or even go through what some call the dark night to where you find some type of clarity in your life about a situation. And then the fourth week, we also got 
finding clarity or events happening with great speed. We also got the Four of Cups. So this could be something happening great speed to where you're rejecting it. You're not wanting to accept it. Um, and this could be you wanting to take time before actually moving forward with something. Because the Knight of Swords represents taking time or to carefully review your options. And the Four of Cups represents taking time before accepting something. So you're possibly wanting to, where we're possibly wanting to take our time before actually accepting a situation or something that's going to transpire within the last week of November. So let's go ahead and pull. <clears throat> I'm going to pull some Ascending Masters or cards so we can see what messages we have. Okay. Well, <laughs> they sell out. So we got right. So this could be sending messages. This could be communicating with someone long distance. This could be um, actually like writing, detailing, writing out a plan. We're going to pull. Here it is. Let's get a, a deeper definition of right. It says, you drew this card as the concrete reminder to write. You've been receiving lots of signs and feelings to write lately. So let this card be a message that leads you to take action. Get out a pad of paper or your laptop computer and begin writing. Don't worry about punctuation, grammar, or spelling, as you can take care of those details later. For now, just express your thoughts and feelings as they flow into your body, into your mind and body. Additional meanings for this card. Keep a daily journal of your feelings and experiences. Write down your intentions, goals, and desires. Channel messages from the gods and angels. Your life purpose involves writing. Write an oracle or a book, which is absolutely insane that I pulled this. because <laughs> That's why I said, let me get a deeper meaning. I'm, I mean, I'm a writer. This is what I do. I just haven't been writing because I've been focusing on other things. So this is like a definite message for me. And I think it's awesome that it will come in the, the reading that I'm doing for Taurus because I have not been reading for myself personally for a, a, about a, two weeks now about two weeks now all right so that's awesome all right so let's move on to the next card we got balance career and home life so there needs to be some type of balance within your career and your home life maybe even um maybe you're putting too much effort into one and not the other so there could be you needing to either balance more within um taking care of your home and your career or balance more within taking care of your career and your home I know it says it sounds like I said the same thing, but I didn't because some of you guys may be lacking home, focusing more on career. So there's a need for you to balance that out. And some of you guys may be focusing more on home than career. So there's a need for you to balance that out as well. We also got yoga. So a lot of guys, a lot of us are needing to find our center, are actually needing to find um, our, our grounding right now. So this can be a definite um, indication that there's a need for you to meditate, to get in tune with your higher self, to actually get out, do some type of movement, to ground ourselves and get in touch with our inner self. So this is all we got. Y'all, I know I'm sound like I'm rushing, but my kids getting off the bus and they're going to come through here screaming. <laughs> so this is all I got for the Taurus monthly reading. Um, if you guys would like a personal read, all my information is in the description. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for everything. I'm so sorry I'm not full of life today. I am really drained right now. But that's all I got. So y'all have a good night.